Hello and welcome back to Free Code Camp's Regular Expressions. This lesson is Restrict Possible Usernames. It says usernames are used everywhere on the internet. They are will give users a unique identity on their favorite sites. You need to check all the usernames in a database. Here are some simple rules that users have to follow when creating their username. Usernames can only use alphanumeric characters. The only numbers in the username have to be at the end. There can be zero or more of them at the end. Username cannot start with the number. Username letters can be lowercase and uppercase. Usernames have to be at least two characters long. A two character username can only use alphabet letters as characters. Our challenge is change of regex user check to fit the constraints listed above. So if we go here, we are able to delete this and we can begin checking uh, usernames can only use alphanumerics so to signify the that we want to match the beginning um, of input we would do caret and then we're going to do a through z and that's going to signify first character is a letter uh, then we want to make sure again a through Z and that's gonna we want to add a plus right outside of it now make sure that the following characters are letters and then after the plus we can do our backslash D and we want to make sure we give it a wild card after and dollar sign will signify the end and that's basically just saying input ends with zero or more digits. So right after the dollar sign, we can go ahead and use our or. And our or is going to also signify the beginning that we want to match this to the beginning um, of a line. And we're going to do same thing. It has to start with a letter, A through Z. So first character is a letter. And then we want to do uh, backslash D to signify any um, anything after that has to be at least uh, two or more digits. So backslash D backslash D plus will, will allow us to do that. So following characters are two or more digits. And we're going to go ahead and end that with our dollar sign as well. That signifies end of line. Uh, so that actually should do it for this one. If we console log and print result should get, so we got false there should be true. So let's see what we did wrong. That's a through Z backslash D backslash D plus. Oh, we want to go ahead and ignore cases. And we did, let's see here. Okay, it's probably just not liking the spaces there. If we run tests, we should pass this now. We did pass. So the important thing is just breaking down these steps to make sure that we're fulfilling all the parts that it's asking for. And we did use that, the or, to make sure um, it starts with at least a letter and then two or more numbers. So we did catch both conditions, uh, at least two letters and as many digits, or at least for sure one letter and as many digits after that, more than two or more. So we passed. If you guys get that, you guys are getting this lesson. I'll see you on the next one.